hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm Donna Drake, and I have this great book. I actually got to go to the book signing because it happened here on Long Island. Uh, so the name of this book is The Magic of Uncertainty, and but what's very certain is who's next to me, and that's the author, Tom Scarda. Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you. This thank is you, awesome. thank you. Um, I'm really proud of you. Every thank time you. I have somebody on that's an author or somebody that's accomplished something, it's just such a celebration for me because I'm like, this is cool to actually yes. tangibly have this in my hands. Yes, and it was years in the making. Years, years. Oh, yeah. yeah, everybody uh -huh. thinks that something's like an overnight success yeah. or that you just snapped your fingers one day and here, here's a book, you know, it's it like came out of your armpit, but. Seven years. You know, seven years give, of give blood, take sweat, a and couple tears. Of months. Yeah, yeah. So tell us about this book. What is the magic of uncertainty? Well, the, the magic of choosing uncertainty is yes, all about. Yes, that is the title, the magic of choosing choos uncertainty. Because right. everything's uncertain all the time, right? Yeah, we sure. never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. Well. but. I do, but that's <laughs> well, another story. Yeah, that's a whole okay. other thing, right. Right, and you should market that more. I, I Maybe I will, but continue, <laughs> but, it's all about you. Yeah, I think um, most people have all sorts of options but are afraid to choose these options. So I have chosen crazy options in my life. People thought I was nuts for doing stuff that I've done. But it, what I found is that when I did crazy things, the universe backed me up every time. People came in my way, people like you, and things happen, right? So you can't, you know, it's not science, we can't figure it out on paper, but for some reason things happen when you choose uncertainty. And that's what the book is really all about. But the impetus for the book is really, I think, important today. And that was really about uh, helping people change careers. Over the past, I don't know how many, five, six years now since the economic t downturn, so many people were laid off. And they were, and I was in, the, I am in the franchise world and I help people find franchises based on skills and personality. And so many people would come in and say, I want to do something different, now's the time, I'm laid off. They would look at businesses for months and months and then not do it and choose unhappiness instead of uncertainty and go back to a job that they shouldn't take or didn't pay enough and whatever. So I was like, you know what, I got this thing sitting in my desk drawer from seven years ago. Let me get some stuff together here and took the plunge and spent uh, hours trying to put it all together and so... And it's it beautiful. Is. Voila. Yeah. Uh, you used to work for the railroad. What were you yeah. doing for them? Well, it, it's funny. Thirteen... Uh, well. Back in the 80s, I was a subway conductor in New York City, and I walked, worked my way up uh, the line there, and I was uh, a manager of customer communications, and then I got a position over in the Long Island Railroad in the public affairs office doing, um, I was a custom, uh, the manager, manager of customer communications, and I was in charge of all print materials and all announcements, everything that the customers saw or heard, I was doing that. And then I realized that it wasn't very creative for me. And I had this creative side and, and, you know, it's just civil service work and just government work is very much like do what you got to do and go home. We got to play by the rules, too. Right. You got to fit within a certain yeah. framework, right? Right. right. And, do and it I, this way and only this way. Right. And I couldn't do it. I, if, and I, I did it for 13 and a half years, but I walked away from the pension and, you know, the whole, the benefits and that whole package. I call it the golden handcuffs. And I decided to do something for myself. So I bought a franchise. And um, that was my foray into the franchise world. You know, a franchise, I didn't know how to run a business, but I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur because the people I look up to, my role models, um, are all entrepreneurs in one way or another. So, uh, so I did it. And, uh, we, and now you're like a matchmaker for people that so, want to do exactly what you did. Yeah, cause people I, that want to choose uncertainty. Yeah, because I was, I mean, I was a government worker. Bought a franchise in 2000. By 2002, I was franchisee of the year among 200 <laughs> units. And then somebody made me an offer three years later. I was in the business not even five years. And somebody made me an offer I couldn't refuse. And I sold out and semi-retired at 41 years old. And uh, this company I work with now, Franchise, said, come and help people do what you've done. So I've been here nine years at Franchise just doing this. And that's how this whole book came about because I got so frustrated with people that really wanted to change but didn't know how. So I studied change. I read every book under the sun about change and fear and all that stuff. And that, so all of that I dumped into this book and it's like a handbook. So, but it's not about business. It's about just making any kind of change. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a life book. It's a, a, a good, I think it helps people be brave, you know, because there really is only one step between staying with the status quo and having the life that you've always wanted. It's, it's just the choice of choosing it. It's just, it's just a two millimeters. Two, like little tiny, tiny 
teeny tiny bit. Stick that step. <laughs> I think that's on page uh, 72, right? It's just that, that one little bitty, bitty step. Um, but I think it's fantastic that you have gone on the journey and that you want to give back to others because who likes to see people in pain? So really what I see you doing is um, helping people solve that solution for themselves. Right, and I feel that everybody has a gift and uh, m most people push it down because they have to pay the bills. And I feel that if, you're, if you feel that you're here on this earth to pay bills, you're going to be really frustrated your whole entire life. Because no matter what, they're not going away. Right. You're still going to have bills, uh, right? Right, so you know, figure out a way where you can make a couple of bucks, save it, and change your life because when you change your life you affect everyone around you in a positive way you're a positive role model if you if you open up a business you're providing jobs in the community so that there's so many different um things that you that you don't even realize that happen when when you choose uncertainty i like it i like it a lot and um you had a, an acronym uh, cfe is that the correct initials oh for the franchise yes world. what does that mean what so, does that mean um in, in franchising, you know, there's like 40,000 people who work within the franchise industry working for companies. CFE is a certified franchise executive. So it's a two-year program that you go through to uh, become a franchise expert. Oh, and that's how say. you earned letters after your name. And that's how I earned the letters. Got right? it. So, okay. So, so I'm really an expert. There's only 1,004 of us that actually have that designation. It's like so, a sommelier. It's like, <laughs> like a wine, I like the connoisseur. I know the perfect. <laughs> yes, the perfect job for you. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> it's tasty to your palate. Yes. Um, but I think that's probably what you do. You are a matchmaker. So you, you do an intake of the person that might want to have a franchise. You right. give them a skills assessment test, yep. right? So if I was going to have a franchise, Tom, you know, what would it be? Or would I be like not in any category you've ever seen? You, you would, you're in a category by yourself. Really? You really are. Okay, so we're going to have to create, <laughs> I guess, the live it up franchise. It, That'll be it for me. It, yeah. But is no, that what it, you do? Do it, you match make people? Yeah, I mean, it would be more about, you know, why do you want a franchise? Where do you want to get to with your with your business? You know, it doesn't matter if you're flipping burgers or if you're matching people uh, in a staffing franchise. It's all about how you spend your days what you want to do with your money and it's not about um you know jaguars and ferraris because if that's it you're never going to make it you're never going to make it you you need to know what your passion is and and a lot of people feel that they have the misnomer that you should be in a business that speaks to your passion and and it's not true exactly hmm. so what i mean by that is you know, I was working with these guys who wanted a golf franchise, and I could help them find a golf franchise. It's selling equipment, and I, but I said to them, they were from Wall Street, two guys, they wanted to do it together, and I said, in about six months after you buy that golf franchise, you're going to hate golf if you're trying to pay your mortgage with it. Great so advice. how about if we find something where uh, you'll enjoy doing it every day, and it'll, it'll give you enough time and money to golf to your heart's content? Would that be great? And they said yes, and they got into something they would have never thought about in a million years, which is uh, actually in the healthcare field. But it works for them. And that was good because you let them keep their playtime, their playtime. And that's important. People don't understand that. Excellent. So I need love, food, and shelter, and uh, hanging out with the Scardas. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you had fun. Did you have fun? This is awesome. Great. Yeah. And, I, and I hope you guys uh, back home, if you are looking to do something new with your life, uh, that you'll check out Tom's new book, uh, The Magic of Choosing Uncertainty. Thank you for watching Live It Up. We really appreciate it. Be well.